Hello, and welcome to the Laura Swan Show. Today we start off with one of the most amazing writers in the world. Hello everybody. Welcome Roald Dahl. The cops must be after you because it's illegal to look that good. So Ellipsis, how did you get back from the dead again? Well, I was walking up from my sleep, and told that I would get a Starbucks coffee, the one with cream and all that. But then I was led here. So let's start off with a few questions. What's it like writing a book? When you're writing it's rather like going on a very long walk, across valleys and mountains and things, and you get the first view of what you see and you write it down. When were you born? Where? Oh yeah, and of course you're dead, so when did you die? I was born on September the 13th, 1916. I was born in Landaff, Wales to be exact. I died on the 23rd of November 1990. So that means I am currently 50 beautiful years old. Well you can all see I look that age but I'm 97 years old. I died with 74 years of experience in my bag. You're really tall. What is your exact height? 2 meters tall actually. You had a large family didn't you? I had 5 children. Olivia, Tessa, Theo, Ophelia and Lucy. You really like music right? Yes. Beethoven are my favorite. You suffered many tragedies in your life, connected to the people closest to you. Could you tell us a bit about the tragedies? Correct. My family was very close and I tried to maintain the strongest relationships with my children. My oldest daughter, Olivia, died because a bout of measles developed into encephalitis, inflammation of the brain. My son Theo suffers brain damage after a road accident. Could you tell us about your time in the war? Sure. I was a fighter pilot in the British Army. Anything else? I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to say anything more. Only the Prime Minister and James Bond know. Let's talk a bit about your family, before your children. My parents were both from Norway. I was the only son of a second marriage. When I was three years old, my father, Harald, and my sister, Astri, died. My mom was left to raise two stepchildren and the other four of her own, including me. One of my favorite books you wrote is the BFG. Many kids ask what B. F. G stands for. Could you tell us? What is the main focus of the book? It stands for Big Friendly Giant. Well, the BFG is no ordinary bone crunching giant. He is far too nice and jumbly. It's lucky for Sophie that he is. Had she been carried off in the middle of the night by the blood bottler, or any of the other giants rather than the BFG she would have soon become breakfast. When Sophie hears that the giants are flush bunking off to England to swallomp a few nice little chidlers, she decides she must stop them once and for all. And the BFG is going to help her. One of the most famous books people know you for is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Could you summarize the book? Is about Charlie Bucket. A poor boy, who lives in a small wooden house with his family on the edge of a great city. He becomes one of the lucky five children who can visit the Wonka chocolate factory. He was accompanied by Great Bajo. The five children meet an eccentric and mysterious Mr. Wonka who decides to hand this magnificent creation over to a young, legacy. This very day changes Charlie's life forever. Who illustrated all your books? Quentin Blake. I could do with that large coffee. Death sucks you up after a while. Ha ha ha. Just after these last questions. So, what is your favorite food? Is there a particular smell that you like? Well, that would be caviar. And my favorite smell is bacon frying on a Sunday morning. What is your favorite color? Yellow is definitely my favorite. If you wouldn't have been an author, what would you have been? A doctor. I was very good at boxing as well. I'm afraid this is the last question then we need to return you to the dead. If you could say one thing to everyone, what would it be? Watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it.